Hey, how's it going folks? ET here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is Vegas Movie Studio 14. Brand new version, brand new look and feel. Let's get into it. When you first launch Movie Studio 14, you're going to get the following pop up here. And it's going to say, you know, do you want to create a new project? Do you want to show me some tutorials or just, you know, go ahead and start using it. Also, if you've done any previous projects on the left, they'll be kind of hyperlinked here so you can go ahead and click on them and get started or open up a new one. You can turn this off by unchecking this checkbox here and then from then on this box will not appear. But let's go ahead and start a new project here by clicking that. At this point it's gonna kinda ask you what do you want the project to be or in what format. So what I usually do is I say match the media settings um, but if you want to you can also go to internet video and HD but be aware that it's going to throw it into to 720p, which is 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second. But later on, you can actually change that to 1080p, which I would do immediately. But I'm going to go ahead and do the match settings here. What I like to do is actually name the project. So we'll just call this tutorial 001 or something. Next, you're going to go ahead and pick a folder where you'd like the project to be stored. And if you check this box, It'll bundle it all nice and neat into a folder for you, which I highly recommend. Uh, you have to name it before you can check this or it won't do it. Okay. Then after that, you go ahead and click OK. Okay, folks. So the next part of this tutorial, we're going to show you how to import media into the program itself. There's three ways to do it. The first way to do it is go to the project menu on the top left corner. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll down a little bit and you'll see add media. That's the first way. Then you'll select the media from wherever it's stored, whether it be on your computer or a connected memory card or etc. Okay, let's go ahead and cancel that. The second way is when you're on the project media sub tab, you can actually click on the add media button here and it does the same thing. Okay, again, then you can select where the media is actually stored. Okay, we're going to go ahead and cancel. And the third way to do it is actually the old fashioned way where you drag and drop it into the timeline or into the project media. So let's minimize this a little bit. Okay, and I have some video here, which I will demonstrate. You just grab a piece of video and you can either drag it here or straight in the timeline. And dragging it into the timeline actually puts it into your project media library here. So those are the three ways to get media into your project. And it doesn't matter if it's video, an image, or audio. Alrighty, now that we know how to get media into the project, let's go ahead and import some. And I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to the desktop where I have a folder full of media stored. And what I'm gonna do is import a couple video clips, an image, and then one song. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, once you've selected the ones you want, go ahead and click open and it'll drop it into your media bin here or your project media bin. Next, I need that music. So let me go ahead and it's in another folder in the audio folder. Oh, actually, no, it's probably over there. All right, here we go. So now we have two video clips, some music and an image. Okay, that's it for the first part of the Vegas Movie Studio 14 tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, and stay tuned for the rest in this series. We'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.